So now here I will show you out of our chada masala how to make para. Para is a, a pickle only but uh, it is like of mackerel. Mostly we used to use mackerel. So we need dry mackerel, dry salt fish mackerel or any salt fish which is dry. In Goa we get mackerels in the market. So you have to cut this head and we will wash this with vinegar. So I have added some vinegar in this. Not much. So cut like this. The heads. No water. See that it is nicely dried. Cut the tails. And then let it go in the. There. So like this only you cut all this. You want to keep tail. You can keep tail. Or you can take tissue also. And you can wipe with vinegar. We don't need to add any salt to this because this is already salted fish which is dried on the Goa, Kalangur, Kandalim, whichever beach, north or south. So I have taken around. Mostly we do this para just before monsoon. So I have taken around uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 of mackerel. Then, so let us just deep this way. And take a clean sterilized bottle. Okay. So just like this. Let it go in the bottle. Just like this you can leave it. As I say you can also take a tissue paper and you can wipe this. Any type of vinegar. Just like giving a bath of this salt fish into so that's it and now the next procedure is very simple the rechado masala what we had ground grinded we need of that so I am taking like one bowl of this for 10 pieces of mackerel so it's like one, two, three, four, five tablespoon of this masala I am taking. You can take more also. But for me, I feel so for the ten of this mackerel, this is enough. And let it get all nicely into this you can use your hands but the masala will be little bit this because pepper powder and everything is there so just let it go inside the masala all this you can add uh, more masala or you can add more mackerels and add more masala to this so so let it get nicely in this masala okay so i will add maybe one more this to this so here it goes now i will close this lid now if your temperature is not hot and not uh, uh, humid or whatever then you can keep this out but nowadays the weather is unpredictable so you can keep close it tightly and keep this in the fridge for around uh, two weeks and then it will be nicely matured with this 
and then you can fry it and eat this so here it goes now i will close this and i will keep it for around two weeks thank you so much and uh, after two weeks i will fry it and i will show you again how it is yeah thank you